we're out turkey hunting and uh right now we're standing in an area it's uh it's a savannah restoration so what what the landowner did is they came in and they removed at least 50 percent of the canopy i would guess we're probably dealing with like 75 percent of the canopy has been removed um, they've kind of cleaned it up you got a couple options when you're doing projects like this you can cut trees and let them lay um, this landowner they've cut them and they've kind of gathered them into groups and there's a bunch of big big brush piles around here they're gonna have to burn off um, but the goal here is we remove a lot of the overhead canopy so we can allow sunlight to get down to the ground and so we're gonna get a flush of native grasses and forbs we'll have more cover um, for all wildlife but specifically deer uh, we're gonna have a lot more forbs and legumes and stuff coming up to feed um, to feed deer um, just more cover more food it's better for the landscape in general you create a lot more biodiversity especially when other parts of this property are straight closed canopy hardwoods he's got these areas now that are gonna be um, a lot thicker and create a lot more cover so the trees they actually left standing and living, typically you're gonna come in and you're gonna mark your highest value trees, whether that be um, like timber value or wildlife value. Uh, as we look around, we see a lot of oaks and that's about it. You know, they're, they're gonna remove a lot of the undesirables, still native species, um, but by leaving a bunch of oaks in here, you're going to have more timber value, but you're also going to have that acorn production in the fall um, to add on top of the extra food and cover that this savanna area will provide.